Scientists are collecting fecal samples from apes in the forests of Africa. In these fecal samples, they are looking for a parasite called plasmodium, the same parasite that causes malaria in humans. When they find plasmodium in a fecal sample, they process it and give it a label. This label is a code that contains a lot of information, but in order for it to be useful, you need to know how to read it. The first two letters identify the site where the sample was collected. The next part of the label tells you which species of ape the sample came from. Next, each fecal sample is labeled by a unique number. Fecal samples often contain more than one plasmodium. The SGA number is used to identify each sequence within a sample. Finally, the label ends with Site B. Site B is short for cytochrome B, a gene found in the mitochondrial DNA. This is the gene the researchers sequenced to study these populations. By comparing the plasmodium sequences from different samples, species, and sites, we can use their similarity to get a picture of how plasmodium is evolving as it moves through these populations.